<clears throat> hey guys, I'm coming in with uh, my, what I believe to be my last rim soak for the soap challenge at least. I definitely plan on using this technique time in the future because it's just so cool and so fun. Um, but this one's probably going to be my last for the challenge because I'm really short on time in the next couple weeks. Here's my melted oils and my my water. I'm going to mix it together with my stick blender at the very most minimal amount possible. Um, and then I'm going to do four colors and kind of a swirl. I want it to stay pretty fluid, but I just really don't trust it without the stick blender for at least a second. So I'm going to blend these together and then we'll do spatula from here on. like five seconds of stick one day. They were very fluid still. I'm a little bit nervous about it, but we are going to be continuing to blend the stick blender. So um, the color scheme I'm going to do is going to be like a slate blue kind of a color, yellow and red oxide. I know that that, you know, sometimes has the possibility to get glycerin rivers. I'm hoping the oxide does not. I want to do just an uncolored base in between so my stripes really kind of stand out. And then just a little bit of colors here in between there. out. Alrighty. First here is my yellow mica. I'm going to use the spa fragrance for the inside of this soap and I think I'm going to just color it with sea clay. I've got, that's going to be my blue right now is sea clay but also mixed with a little bit of blue mica so it's a little you know it's a little bit bluer not just so gray but depending on how that turns out i might do blue mica in the center of the, the sea clay as well i might just leave it to be a softer gray color i'm not sure yet there's my yellow we are feeling pretty emulsified when i was starting out i'm feeling like it is a true trace so that makes me feel excited there's my red oxide I meant to do this yesterday and just tested it in the after like 4 p.m. And at that point it would have been too late to pop it in the oven and then get it out at a point where I wouldn't be like super tired and exhausted. Sleep is definitely a priority for me. When I can get it, I'm going to get it. And I wasn't trying to stay up to do this. That was a beautiful day yesterday anyways. And we went to the park and we had the backyard. So we were just enjoying being outside and doing our thing. My red, really pretty. I'm not doing titanium dioxide for the uh, in between because I know that's going to give me glycerin rivers in the oven. There's certainly no water discount happening here. I don't want that. If you're uncolored, it would be enough of a contrast, especially because there's coconut oil in this recipe. It's not just yellow oils that are all really white. Now I'm going for kind of a natural, I don't know, I saw, I, I see random things just in life and I'm inspired color wise and I saw this sort of yellow, blue, and red, which is basically primary colors, but they were all like a shade or two off from the primary red, blue, and yellow and I just thought it looked really nice. It inspired me. because I. I'm not even going to put the video up. I had an impression mat to do a dragon's blood soap. And the impression mat worked okay. It wasn't perfect. Um, when I went to slice it, the slicing part didn't work. It like went halfway through. And <clears throat> even then I tried to measure, like get to see if that would fit in my tube. It was too small. But that the actual impression mat part got all bumped and bruised looking from just trying to go in the tube and I thought even if I try this again it's not going to look as nice as I want so I'm really just going to do a slab mold um slab mold dragon's blood so okay just a quick little stir too yep they're getting thicker they're getting thicker that's okay
Okay, that means we're at trace though. I did line the bottom of this. I'm just going to pour like this for stripes and then do simple, really Taiwan style swirl. I like the idea of doing it in the corner because then my stripes are going to be sideways, so it's going to be kind of an angled stripe. I also had an idea for a soap, and I don't know if I'm going to have time to do it for the challenge. Probably not, because I've got a craft fair this weekend. It's my first one since I was pregnant, actually. And I'm just really full on running out of time to get everything done. But even if I don't make that for the challenge, I'm going to make it eventually. Thick, <clears throat> thick, ran thick. It doesn't pour as nicely when it's thicker. It kind of layer instead of spreading outwards. So I'm hoping I just hustle my little butt here. So that it's like this really nice. And I'll be slicing into it, so it's really get something, something fun. The red oxide's looking nice and red. I do like the color I get from that. I just really hope it doesn't get rivers on me. <coughs> Excuse me. We have been blessed here with some beautiful weather. It really doesn't happen for us here often when it's the beginning of March and we're able to be outside like this. It was in the 70s yesterday. It really did not happen for us. And I'm sure we're going to get, whoops, my white layer. I'm sure we're going to get some snow before this winter is done. Like, I know we're not officially spring yet, but. I'll take, you know, I'll take what we can get. It's getting kind of weird and chunky looking over there, so I'm really hoping I don't get a bunch of oil separating on the top. Ugh. As long as I get one good brim, I'm not gonna get any of the itchy I'm running out of our uncolored base. Super weird texture of the soap right now. This is going to be my last bit of uncolored, I think, that I can get out into here. And then I'm going to have to do a round of just. Colored stripes without anything in between. I also have to go to the store today and get more Pringles. <laughs> Pour some into Chris's mouth. Like, we are eat these, I need the two. It's looking really weird and chunky. I'm not sure what that's about right now. I'm not sure what that's about right now. All right, last of the blue. Red. There's a decent amount of yellow left here. Last of that. I don't know why. It seems like chunky over here. I really don't know what that's about. Hopefully, you know, if any of you watching this video are kind of like, oh, I know why I did that. 
feel free to let me know because I don't and I don't like it. I'm gonna grab my spatula, or my spatula, my chopstick. Oh, this is looking so weird. Swirling really nicely. The edges are just chunky. I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> okay. I like a lot of the center stuff here. Let's see what happens. We'll see what happens. There it is, though. I like my color scheme. I'm going to go ahead and pop this in the oven. I'll check on it in an hour. I'll probably be pulling it out of the oven in an hour and a half. And I'll see you guys in about six hours when we turn it into a rim. Hey, guys. I'm back. I've um, got my rim here. Well, the slab's part of it yet. It's not the rim. Just yet. We're going to shave it off now. Um, I keep getting these little bumps on top when I put it in the oven. Is it um, any of you who gel your soaps out there? Am I just leaving it in the oven too long? Um, don't let me know in the comments what you think. That would be appreciated just because I'm not normally one to oven process. So, not sure. But I, I mean, soap, soap is perfectly fine. A little bit of oiliness this time. So, I don't know. But we'll see. I'm going to put the top layer off here. I made it a little bit deeper of a rim this time in hopes of being able to get more rims out of the total. It's really hard to get the correct level that I need. Even this, like I barely, barely shaved anything off right there, and I, you know, was trying to do a little bit more. Um, maybe that's all I need to get an even start, though. Let me one more time. Just try to. I'm gonna start it on the other side. about random DVD cases and cardboard and stuff to try to lift everything just as much as I need. I don't want it the room to be too thick. I don't want it to be uneven when I started last time. That's the one that failed. It was uneven. I didn't even the top up before I tried to slice it and I just screwed the whole thing up. Well, I guess that's, that's even for now. So let's just go for it here. My colors turned out exactly how I wanted to. I think for the center, I'm going to do sea clay but plus a little bit of indigo. So I don't want it to be quite as blue as this, uh, but close enough so it's in the same sort of realm. Alrighty, here's a rim. It's quite pretty. That is quite pretty. It's very thin. A little bit of weirdness on the edge because that wasn't quite as high up on that end. I'm going to set this off to the side. Stick this bottom of my mold back under and see if I can get one more. Here's my top layer ultra thin rim. Here's my tube I'm starting with as well. I'm pretty sure we're squished away. So there's that one. Um, I'm going to try to use some of this one in this little guy. Because I feel like, why not? And this has the uh, freezer paper on it. So we'll peel that off. This is the bottom of the soap. It's not that pretty on the bottom.
not pretty at all, really, on the bottom, huh? It's not ugly, it looks kind of like tie-dye on the bottom, actually. Don't look like tie-dye to you, like muddy tie-dye, but it's like tie-dye nonetheless. It's outside, so this is what we want. Oh, this is super thick. Hey guys, I'm back. I have my freshly emulsified Castile batter here um, and my my rims. I went ahead and I put a nice healthy dose of gold mica in here too and I just like shook the crap out of it to make sure it's in all of the areas because that should hopefully make like a mica line between the rim and the rest of the soap which should turn out pretty cool. Um, and I'm going to super fat here. I have some mango butter argon oil. It's super fat with that. And also here mixed up is my fragrance. It's, it's a very oceany fragrance. It's a clean, very much ozone kind of spa, but it, there's that oceany smell to it. I really like it. I like it more now that I've mixed it up and it's been kind of chilling in the air than in the bottle. And I think it'll be even nicer in soap. Uh, so this is fragrance. This is sea clay. This is a little bit of indigo. I decided to do a tiny bit of indigo instead of the blue mica for hopefully more of a slate color. I want it to be like, picture the dark kind of stormy ocean. I want it to kind of look like that and not be the exact shade of blue that's in the rim. And also in here is the tiniest little bit of uh, my fine grain organic dead sea salt. Once I realized how oceany this fragrance really does smell, I thought, Screw it, let's just go, let's go oceany with it. So it's got the sea clay and the sea salt, indigo, and the fragrance in here. And we will get that mixed in. Of course, this looks very dark now, but once it gets to the batter, it's going to lighten up a little bit. And hopefully, we fill up both of my tubes. Hopefully, uh, they're filled perfectly. But I'm guessing it'll be, if anything, the small one will be a little bit shy, then, then have too much. Yeah, looking good. I'm going to give it a quick zip with my stick blender, though. So I'm going to do that. Perfect texture here. Awesome. I think I'm going to call this Soap Nantucket. My color scheme, let's see, a little scrap of paper. Stuck my stick blender and then I got stuck in the soap. I'm glad I had found that. Um, but this color scheme kind of reminds me of like a Cape Cod beach house, and then with the sea fragrance and all the sea clay and goodies, I just thought I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it Manta, but I like that the best. I thought, do I name it Martha's Vineyard? Do I just name it Cape Cod? Uh, Manta sounds good. I hope you guys like that too. Look how thick we got just from blending that fragrance and all the other stuff in. Not very thick. Alright. Almost totally cool there. I'm not going to have as much left over as I thought. <clears throat> what I've been doing in a regular size tube here is I get the tube and then I end up with the same amount in my recipe. I'm ending up with three bars left, so I'm thinking three or four out of this guy, the short one maybe, but I don't know if I'm going to have that much with this round for some reason. Oh, no, I got more than I thought I did. So yeah, let's scoop this out and hopefully it fills it up to the tippy top. I did order more shea butter and more coconut oil. I need those things anyways. If they get here before it's too late, I think I will try one more soap. Or the challenge is over. I think this is going to be the one that I enter right here. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Yeah, this is definitely not filled all the way. That's okay. I made a larger rim batch this time too, and the block is not getting used. Yeah, that's about one soap. That I'm missing out. So yeah, I'm going to probably get three bars out of this. This is four inches tall. Um, roughly. Uh, four or five. 
So I'll probably get three bars out of this. And then six or seven out of this guy. Now tomorrow I have a craft show. I'm not going to be able to put into this tomorrow. Maybe in the nighttime, but I'll probably be freaking exhausted tomorrow night. Um, so then maybe Sunday morning you'll see me cut it into this. But it won't matter for you. Uh, you're going to get to watch me cut it right now. Hey guys, I am in the process of unpeeling my beautiful room soap, my Nantucket soap. Looking pretty cool so far. This is one of two tubes. Ooh, we got some stickage to the tube over here. Smush that out. This has been, I made this two days ago because yesterday I had my craft show and that occupied bulk of my day and when I got home I just wanted to chill out. I wasn't really trying to do anything other than hang out with my baby who I missed all day. You got some stick in here, like this is not this is not makes me happy at all. I'm trying to peel it, I was gonna peel it the opposite way. This big chunk is stuck. That's not good. So there's my weird chunkiness that I peeled off. Um, it's still a solid loop, as we can see, but like we have that little bit that I do not want to stay on my soap. Give it a light little smooshing. Part of my seam's real nice though. This top starts to get janky right through this chunk here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's flop that up for a second. Pretty cool swirls though on the outside. I did get my coconut oil and my shea butter yesterday. I'm telling you, bulk apothecary. They're only a state away from me over in Ohio. Um, so that might have a lot to do with it, but they, when they ship to me, I get that shit in like 36 hours, uh, which is awesome. I mean, you can't argue with that. Um, I just love it. So I might be able to do some more soaps before this challenge is over. It is Sunday before the link up opens, I think. Alright, peeling my other one. This one that's like a little bit empty on top. I think the remaining soaps are going to be real nice. And this one didn't have any stickage. I'm not sure what was up with that sticky spot. It may have been one of the oilier portions and it just really didn't want to come undone. But here's this seam. You can see it right now. I'm just going to smush it. Smush and smush. <laughs> We do have some soda ashiness on the top of these. Let's cut it and see the center. We'll cut into this guy first. I'm pretty sure that'll be a good area to cut right there. Make sure I tightened up my cutter so I don't want it coming across halfway like it was before. Okay. There's my weird. Piece. I'm liking the speckling from the salt. Let's take a look at this other little thing here. My gold in between isn't super prominent, but you can tell that it's there. Or definitely gray in the center, not as bluish as I was. Uh, I thought it could 